Yo, how's it going? I did a thing done in another video, so we're going to react to it. This one's I made a tiny suit of armor for a hermit crab. Let's get straight into it. And away we a go. How you going? How's it Australian going? Australian animals have developed some pretty cool and creative ways of protecting themselves. Evolution. Like echidnas. It looks like a dink. Magpies. I'm sorry, wait, what? Like echidnas. It looks a like a dink. Magpies. Okay. <laughs> Stingrays, <laughs> late Steve Irwin, and hermit oh, crabs. Oh, that was a low blow with the Steve Irwin. But some of their methods Dude. aren't quite strong enough. So today, I'm going to make hermit crabs stronger by giving them some armor and weapons so they can destroy anything that tries to touch them. Pog, okay. Wait, no shot. They're actually... No shot. That would be sick. Right, the first thing I need is some hermit crabs. And I could just yep. buy them from the store, but they are expensive. And it also seems a little unethical. So instead, I decided to get okay. them from the wild, taking them oh, away no. from their home, family, oh, and friends. No. Wow, this is so messed up. This is Finding Nemo 2.0. <laughs> Yo, look at the waves on the wall look crazy. Dude, I could never scuba dive. This is just... Nah. Nah. Me and water are just like, nah. Water's cool, but... Now I, want to find I can't put my head under. It's around three Go centimeters on. in diameter. So I brought my tape measure okay. and began to measure. That's just a... Oh, we have got tape measure. So loud in my ear. But after losing a tug of war with an octopus. Huh? Oh, got it. oh no! Careful! I'll cut you. I gave up <laughs> measuring and started searching for any <laughs> shells I could find. But unfortunately, all the shells were either empty or occupied with snails. Oh, oh. Which I crushed oh. up for the fish. <gasps> oh. Who started to get really friendly with me. Almost too friendly. Huh? So I decided to call it and get out before they get up to any funny business, as these guys <laughs> are notoriously named Blue Gropers. So uh -huh. I started looking in the rock pools, <laughs> creeks, and just anywhere with water, until eventually I found this guy. I saw this rock moving oh. before. Oh. It's alive! So oh, he's cute. The rock a wash and began looking for more. And after the rock searching for an more animal in this area, I found two more hermit crabs. Let's call oh, okay. them Sandy, Randy, and Handy. And I made them okay. this home, which is filled with okay. sand and random Lego pieces. But more importantly, has a heat map that emulates the warmth that a hermit crab is used to getting from heat mats that exist naturally in the wild. Oh, okay, um, now I just need to make the um, metal shelves. And the first um, thing that comes to mind is <laughs> casting their shells out of aluminium. And I can do this by 3D printing some shells with some cool designs like this, and then taking mm -hmm. a cast of the 3D print and then pouring metal in to fill the mold. And I want the crab's armor to still look like shells, but also have a Mad Max style to it with stuff yeah. like armor plates, some spikes, buzz saws. So I 3D okay, printed all sick. my shell designs and baked them in the sun to harden up. Then cast okay. one in plaster with some arms for the molten metal to run down and left that for a couple of days to dry. Now I'm hoping that when the molten metal enters the holes, it will instantly melt the resin and styrofoam, creating a void which the metal will fill. Okay. So oh. next thing, oh. I invited Why? the kids over for a 24 pack. VB? Not a long neck though. No. Oh my, watch their fingers, watch their fingers! We're not leaving until you finish. <laughs> And then collected all the cans, <laughs> which I melted down Aww. in my furnace. <laughs> and while the cans are melting, it's the perfect time to tell you about today's sponsor, KiwiCo. Which is a much better thing okay. to get for your kids instead of drinks. KiwiCo is a subscription service where you get a STEM project in the post once a month. Everything you need is there in the box, meaning you don't need to go to the shops for batteries or anything. 
The crates teach huh? science, art, and engineering and are designed to spark a child's curiosity and creativity. I was really okay. impressed by this domino machine and this walking robot, which both teach awesome engineering and design concepts. I really enjoyed this do-it-yourself air hockey kit I didn't know if you pump it, it gets so big. It gets so big when you pump it. Which is aged five plus, so is perfect for me and my friends. <laughs> Kiwico has heaps of different crates to choose from, and each monthly crate is designed by experts oh, and tested by kids. So it really is the perfect thing for you to get for the kids in your life. And I really wish I had Kiwico to play with as a child, instead of what my mum gave me. So... If you want to try it out and support my channel, click the you link in plug the description as well. and get your God. first month free. Thanks to Kiwi. Oh, for the video. right in the eye. <laughs> he launched okay, it. It's now time face. to check on the cans. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That looks and when completely so. Liquidy enough. I poured them into the mold. He's a nice man. Dude really needs to be wearing like some sort of. Some sort of feet wear, anything. Doesn't even still, no, even still tap. Just anything. I, I'd go for a flip flop at this rate. If I was using uh, spoons as a. <laughs> and I don't think there was any chance that this worked. As a grabber. So I gently cracked it open to look. And that didn't work oh. at all. The aluminium oh. didn't run into the hole. And I could try again, but the bad thing about doing this with plaster is the mold is not reusable and takes a very long time to remake. So yeah. instead, I decided to make a mold out of high temperature silicon, which I've used before to make high temperature flashlights. Come again? And then no, please don't. Don't, the don't. Metal, which I can just <laughs> melt on the stove, which is great as I won't burn myself as much. Mm -hmm. And to make the silicon mold, I took the resin shell and placed it at the bottom of this PVC pipe and then poured silicon over the top until it almost came over the shell. Then I let that dry That's before what she said. pouring another layer on the top so it runs <laughs> inside the shell and then let that dry. And now hopefully I can neatly pull apart the layers creating a two-part mold. Okay. And joined together. Which did Oh no. Work. So I made another one, but this time I used graphite powder so they would separate. Now comes oh, okay. the key, which is this metal here, which makes you feel incredibly strong, which uh -huh. I just cut into chunks and then melted it down in this little saucepan. And if you're following along from home, it's very important that you also use a pot with a plastic handle like this one. Which no, 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 if, please don't do this at home. If anyone, don't do this at home. Which will catch on fire releasing poison. He's a trained foods. professional. Yep. Don't bring that in. Please put no that out. It's solid self. You have to take it off. <laughs> Yep. Again, no feet wear, no gloves. Creating. But he's a trained professional, everyone. What the hell and is it that? It turns out casting a hollow spiral tube oh. is very hard. But I That's kept not trying. bad. Second attempt. They say it goes in threes, so the third one will be better. Oh, that's worse. Third time's a charm. And after Definitely the and destroying time. at least 10 molds, I finally oh, managed money. to get this. That one actually looks okay. pretty good. What is it looking upside? Sick! Okay! Which is almost good enough, but I've realized yeah. the problem. This shell is very in heavy it. at 90 oh. grams. And if we compare ah. that to the weight of a hermit crab... Oh, 12. That's with a fella in it. I love how they just keep trying to escape or or thing. Which is zero. The shell weighs infinitely more, which is a big difference. So I need to come up with some other way of doing this. And I think electroplating is my best bet. Hmm? The first thing I need to do is make a bath filled with the metal I Electro want to plate, what? which is nickel. So I just got two nickel plates and put them in a vinegar solution and then got this wire and attached it to both plates. Is and it going to be a nickel back quickly, joke? No. The bath no. turned from clear to green, You're missing out. meaning it's now filled with nickel. And I know this setup oh. looks bad, like I'm making meth or something. Or a bomb. Which I am doing, don't get me wrong, but just not here on this table. 
<laughs> his pipe, his pipe, his pipe, his pipe. Okay, uh, oh my god. To see oh my god, this guy. Electrode plate using this copper wire. Uh. Which I connected to the negative power and then put the positive on this nickel chunk. And now hopefully the nickel metal moves from the negative through the bath onto the copper, coating it in nickel. It was and like furry liquid. Only dunking it in the solution for like 30 seconds, the copper wire was covered in a layer of nickel, which means Whoa. this should work. So I covered the shells in a conductive paint sick. and put them in and waited. Okay. And waited and waited. And the so it's just going to be like a thin layer. Copper wire, but it does look like it's working, as I can see okay. some nickel. So I left them overnight. And this doesn't nickel actually back. look that bad at all. It's That's pretty kind good. of shiny and is also very light while also having the added strength from the metal. And best of all, it is makes it this noise, which is good enough for me. So I coated a bunch That's of different sick. shell designs, That's sizes, sick. and then also did some in copper, which looks Yo! awesome. It has this crystalline metal growth on the end of the spikes, which makes the copper almost look organic. They look like miniature shoulder and pads. All the shells in the tank for the hermit crabs to choose. And this is the annoying bit of the video for me, as I have no idea how long the crabs are going to take yeah. to pick a shell. And they might not even for a week, want nothing it. happened. Yeah, they might not want it, bro. Although I did learn a lot about the crabs, like that mm. Sandy loves to eat fish, Randy Hulk? loves digging in the corner, and <laughs> Handy, well, uh, he loves... Yeah. Oh, oh. But more importantly, I learned oh. that all of them are liars. <laughs> and despite what a hermit crab tells oh. you, they are not actually crabs at all and had been lying to me oh. for two weeks before I <gasps> discovered they were actually something called a decapod crustacean. And I have no idea what that means. <laughs> oh but in the end, it doesn't really matter because it looks like something has finally happened. Hmm? And I came back to the tank one night to find this empty shell. Yeah. And He's run away. In his beautiful new home. Oh, <gasps> no, shot. That's so sick. He's got armor. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. That is so cool. That is actually Personally, so cool. I would have picked the larger shell for myself as he barely fits in the thing. But mm. it seems fine as he can still do all the things he loves doing, like running, digging and climbing. It's also really awesome seeing That's Randy sick. dig under the ground as when he's under, it's just the spikes on top of the shell poking out in a similar way <laughs> to the echidna, which would really hurt if you stepped mm. on it. And I really didn't think this would work at all. So I am very happy with this result. And wow. I could wait longer to see if the other crabs also mm. adopt their new shells. But we could be waiting weeks. for two months now and I feel like I'm really pushing my luck Ooh. and I'm going to be responsible for the death of a crab soon. So I just yep. decided to call it here and release the crabs back into the wild. Oh, let's go. Oh, dude, where's some shoes? And Handy in their boring shells. And then Randy in his beautiful armor. Let's go. Hey, Bye, Randy. You were the greatest of them so all. Hopefully, he now lives a, a long, warrior. happy life, destroying the ecosystem he lives in. Yes. And the crabs aren't the only thing I'm releasing. I've got three leftover metal shells, which I <gasps> placed on beaches all over Sydney for you hopefully to find. Hopefully, they, they Here are some oh, clues okay. on where to find them. Leave them for the crabs, bro. Oh. It's like a stand up show. Oh. Oh. Um, I've written a, um, a poem. Oh, okay. Um, at this beautiful point, you'll feel like a man. So just climb down this gully and follow my plan. Oh. When you get to the ledge and look around, you'll find the shell where I peed on the ground. Oh, I did. Crawling around trying to find it, put your hands in pee. At this beach, you'll find many. At this you beach, you'll find many you men laying bare. I was tempted to join them, but I didn't dare. He didn't put it in so a notice page. I placed the shell right under this rock, but all I could think about was that man's <laughs> personality. <smile>. Okay, same thing. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! You got it. Where the Last planes one. land, you'll find this beach. Mm -hmm. And I've placed the shell just out of reach. If you come first and want to flex, make sure you leave something 
for the person that's next. Okay. That seems like it's going to be the hardest one to find. That wasn't very distinctive like the other two. But that was a very, very good video. Sad I won't be able to find any of them because they're all in Australia, but that, that was a very good video. Dude's absolutely nuts. And again, please do not try any of this at home. Unless you want to. I, I'm, I'm not your parent. <laughs> okay, that was it. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.